Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tsarot and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and uh, Cancer Rising monthly tarot reading for February 2019 and uh, as I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you once again guys that that is going to be a, a general reading for Cancer uh, Star Signs <clears throat> therefore uh, it's going to resonate in a different way uh, with uh, every single different cancer so uh, for that reason in this uh, video I will try uh, my best to explain you the meanings of the cards uh, their synergy in the spread as well as I'm going to try to give you some uh, examples <clears throat> but at the end uh, you will have to align the reading uh, to your to your own personal situation for maximum accuracy now if you want me to do that for you uh, to analyze your situation just like I'm doing for the examples in this video through the tarot cards that is a subject of a personal reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the uh, description of this video and there uh, you can find a, a full list of my services <clears throat> as well as uh, their pricings so that being said, this is uh, the five card tarot spread and uh, is going to be as well a enhanced tarot spread which means that we are going to draw additional card uh, per position and um, <clears throat> for what it seems here, uh, it's kind of like uh, this month you are going to need the help of someone or a help of organi organization or uh, something that will require a, um, a compromise or consensus it's the right word here like a, a mutual agreement so you can uh, you can basically stir forward with your things with your things either career wise or either relationship wise this is just from the overview of the cards so the first one which is the seven of wands here with uh, the uh, four of wands that is the topic of your cycle and uh, of your month excuse me and these cards are, are uh, expressing the resilience of uh, your activities and of your enterprises that you are going to uh, try to stir or try to um, you know invest time and energy into the seven of wands. The seven of wands here is pointing to that you are going to try to hold your ground. You know, probably hold on to your positions, hold on to your points of views, and etc. etc. But still, there will be a resistance. Now, this resistance most most likely is a. Um, created by another human being so another personalities but it could be also a resistance of circumstances all right so things aren't going to go as smooth as you thought they are going to and uh, this is uh, just before uh, this is happening just before the culmination of things just before for example the closure of one's deal just before you know the proposal for one's marriage just before the finalization here of a uh, important cycle and uh, <clears throat> these cards are pointing that once you kind of uh, trespass this uh, this threshold of resistance afterwards uh, the things are going to uh, develop much more smoother for you cancers than they are developing right now so what I can see here with these cards is this is one last push one last compromise you know one last heroic efforts if I may express myself that way to overcome the very final predicaments that one is facing uh, in order to I don't know to materialize one dreams or what these cards are pointing to finalize an important cycle of life <clears throat> like starting new relationships starting new job or start working on a specific project because this is just a finalization of a cycle and the next cycle it's it it proceeds forth with the same activity so uh, just to give you an example of that it could be that you are um, planning right now upon an important activity important project into your career and your plans are facing disapproval from some of the people which are involved in there you know and some final um, 
compromises some final efforts from your behalf needs to be done so those plans can be approved and afterwards the cycle of development ends and new cycle starts which the new cycle is the very materialization of this project that you are making plans right now or in this very moment so this is the very topic where you are going to basically overcome or you will have to overcome the uh, final wall, the final barrier so you can make your agenda or your goal to uh, start materialize. The next card which is the intentions that will be the temperance card and it depends on your situation this card is going to materialize itself or manifest itself in a different way especially having the seven of cups so with the seven of cups we do have here active enemies and the uh, temperance card completely uh, diminishes the blur the vagueness the uh, unrealistic understanding of one's environment so here you will very well understand what needs to be done now it as i said it will require compromise abandoning a certain positions you know and reaching common ground especially if other people if other people are um involved in there the more the more uh, the more the month the month is proceeding forward the more the more you are going to start realizing that these um compensations are inevitable if you want to uh make your agenda happen or if you if you want to make your undertaking uh, proceed on forward. Additionally to that, the temperance card here with the seven of cups is pointing that you are going to start seeing that there are much more chores and preparations, if I may express myself that way, to be, um, to be executed before the cycle can end. So we do have some, how can I place it? Um, a little bit more uh, aggravating activities or annoying activities that you have to attend to but they are very essential for the wholeness of the procedure here for the wholeness of your relationship future relationship for example or the wholeness of your future uh, project now for example here uh, <clears throat> if this is about consolidating a relationship you know and you seriously dislike of talking on the phone for hours but the person that you want to be with likes to talk for hours well that is a compromise that you will realize that you have to make and talk with them for hours on the phone if you want them to stay by your side so it's kind of like a understanding that you cannot have it all but you know uh, you have to back away from a certain standpoint so the other part the other side of the party here which is causing which is putting a resistance or is causing predicaments uh, needs to as well abandon those positions of um, of predicaments <clears throat> so pretty much this is how the month uh, is going to move on forward and it's going to be rather very busy month we do have uh, in the active positions here we do have a three fire fe fiery cards which means a lot of dynamic a lot of surprises uh, it means a lot of uh, uh, around turns as well so you should not be biased uh, by your expectations all right something that isn't going on isn't going forward very well it could be traversed into a lucrative agenda something that it is um, amazingly um, developed you know it could uh, kind of like uh, fall into ruin before you know it if you leave it unattended so it's kind of like what i'm trying to say here is is that you need to be on your guard and you should seek improvement in any with every single opportunity that you do have throughout the month <clears throat> now the next card that we do have this is going to be the two of uh, swords into the uh, negative position or rather like challenges which are causing predicaments and we do have an yielding person a stubborn stubborn person who does have one mindset and they don't want to abandon those positions and uh, this person here does not uh, it kind right now they are involved into that agenda into this into that situation or in in this activity but they have no place in there so it's kind of like these cards are pointing that you need to make the tough call here and 
confront that person, you know, uh, or kind of like exclude them as well from the whole uh, from the whole activity or from the whole uh, enterprise. What you need to do here is to um, disturb the equilibrium, if I may express myself that way. So let me give you that example, uh, so you can um, you can obtain a, a better understanding of the position here. This uh, is displaying the silent treatment and the quietness that you can. Um, that you can give to the situation just because you don't want to provoke um, additional arguments or you don't want to provoke arguments overall. So to give you that example, you are fi you are fighting for a certain project and um, the whole battle here is how that project is going to be taken on, right? And from one of the uh, and from uh, one side of the scales, it is standing. It is where you are standing, and you have your plan. All right, you are presenting your plan to your boss. Let's say, from the other side of the scale, is standing a coworker of yours with much more aggressive plan, and they are using any method they can to uh, to basically make you a fool or to make your plan to look like they, it's it's stupid and it is uh, it's retarded if I may express myself that way and so uh, just because you don't want to confront that person you don't want additional troubles you don't want a, um, a situations where uh, our angles will be at place you know you keep a silent treatment therefore their plan gets approved your gets tossed into the recycle bin and you miss here the uh, the development of the cycle or the ending of that cycle of development as I said, this uh, this month ain't gonna go without problems, all right? As a matter of fact, wherever the problems are, it is where your growth is. So you have to confront those which are going against you. You have to confront confront as well those kind of uh, circumstances which are ruining your experience. Another example here: if you have problems in your relationship that are popping up here and there those problems should not be ignored they need to they need to be uh, addressed straight away no matter how difficult it is going to be to stand in front of your partner let's say and explain to them what the problems are and what needs to be done and also not you shouldn't you should not stop only by explaining it but as well doing it it's kind of decisiveness is the word that i was searching here a decisiveness and determination it's required for you cancers it's gonna be a tough month guys and um, i hope that many of you have the hearts of a lion rather than the heart of a rabbit right so we do have a sentence here into our um, our country a heart of a chicken or a heart of a rabbit it means a loser it means a person who does not have what it takes to stand their ground and you need to have what it takes to stand there to stand your ground and this is the determination the readiness to jump into battle to resist temptation and to uh, above everything else to know how much you're worth because we go to the next card which is the magician and uh, this is the guidance here with the seven of swords so that is a very potent combo what the magician in seven, uh, in seven of swords uh, means is that you should go um, um, I don't know how to it's kind of like a horse blind I don't know if that's a word you know you know how uh, on the on the riding horses you play some sort of a um, a clots on the eyes so they can see only forward and not sideways so they don't they get distracted they don't and, and that the horses don't care what are their surroundings and what are the consequences of their drive so it's kind of like how you should proceed here no matter what kind of a consequences you are going to uh, let's say provoke or uh, materialize in your peripheral uh, environment you uh, you got to basically with determination and sovereignty uh, move on forth and uh, finalize that cycle despite of the resistance. These cards are pointing to a very determined and a very powerful drive 
from which one uh, it's determined to um, to basically win back what they deserve, right? And uh, it, it it will require as well a lot of uh, a lot of courage because the seven of swords is also a card of of clashes. Is also a card of uh, a confrontation because the seven of swords it does display one that storms their situation in order to get what they deserve and the magician here points as well that you need to make it clever you need to make it um, with dignity you need to make it as well with a, a great amount of sovereignty these cards are pointing that you should not allow anybody to tell you what is good for you you should not allow anybody to tell you what you should focus on and what you should not focus on i mean you are the master of your growth right you very well know where your growth is and with these cards you very well probably know how you can achieve that growth and um, <clears throat> I know that this is not going to be faced very well by some of my viewers, but these cards are pointing that you should disregard completely the impact that your actions are going to have on the on the people around you, especially if those people doesn't mean anything uh, to you. These cards are pointing that if you don't take care for your own happiness, if you don't take care for your own growth, if you don't take care for your own personal interests, no one else is going to. And uh, believe me or not, your interests are always standing on the path of someone else, which means that as soon as you go forth and uh, start working for your interests, you are immediately start doing quote-unquote evil into someone else, which is your enemy or a circumstantial enemy. So these cards here are pointing that just because your path is going to cross with someone else, that should not be a prerequisite for you to say, oh, okay, I will seek my happiness elsewhere. No, you, you should not. I mean, you already have your goal and you got to press forward <clears throat> no matter what kind of uh, out or feedback or, 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 or outlook or I don't know how to name it, this thing is going to have into the people around you. And lastly, we do have the Ace of Wands here, which is the final outcome with the Moon card. And uh, this, as we said here, that that is a, a cycle of development. And after this cycle ends, the other materializes regarding that specific um, agenda or a situation or an undertaking of yours. This is exactly what happens. So what the Moon card here play, play a role as is that the... Uh, the insecurity and the vagueness of the whole situation will no longer be in presence. Uh, this is due to the fact that you are going to exclude those kind of people or circumstances here with the with these couple of cards through the um, compromise which you are going to make with the productive uh, means around you, which could be uh, again another people, other people, or a. Uh, you know other circumstances <clears throat> you will make your future much more foreseeable you're gonna make your um, your your relationship for example or your career uh, much more secure because the uh, moon card is a sign of vagueness the things cannot be predicted you know that that things always can take a wrong turn and etc etc and yet uh, the path that you are walking right now it is exactly the path that you should be on at that specific moment. However, the Ace of Wands here diminishes the negative impact of the Moon and it gives you the new beginning, it gives you uh, the, uh, the new surprise, the new enterprise as well and on top of that it kind of offers you a, a chance to develop a talent which you uh, until this moment left unattended you had no idea that you have that talent and that could be a talent to overcome resistance you know that could be a talent to be uh, someone else or something else regarding your career that could be a talent to overcome um, wrangles and predicaments into your current relationship and etc etc what these cards here are pointing is that as soon as your new cycle of development starts you are going to have additional weapon in your arsenal 
to uh, fight or kind of like to fight back with the ups and downs that life offers you. So that being said, Cancers, this was your monthly tarot reading for February 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, this was just a general reading for Cancer Star Sign. And for that reason, I uh, explained you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. And also, I tried to give you some examples here. <clears throat> but at the end, uh, you have to align that reading with your personal situation, just like I did for the examples in that video. Now, if you want your personal situation to be analyzed, just like I did for the examples of that video, um, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there, you are going to find a... a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.